Okay, fellow scrappers, welcome back to the world of Scrap Mechanic, and thank you for joining me in the lab. In this episode, I'm going to be introducing you to the wonderful world of Mechanical Advantage. This is going to be a fun one, because um, you know that in our last episode, I was trying to get up into a tree, and I built a tower, which is right over there, that fell over, for reasons I won't get into right now, but let's just say it was because my newest experiment kind of went crazy and started destroying everything in my laboratory here. But, um, all right, let, let's move on. Basically, if you know what mechanical advantage is, is just using like levers and leverage to accomplish a task. And here, what we have here is just a simple lever, all right? Over here, we have these hefty blocks, and they need to be hefty, trust me. You want them at least four thick all the way around. And you want the base pivot point to also be four thick, maybe even a six by two thickness. Uh, if you don't do it, and you put a seat on the end, and you try to jack it up, you're in for one heck of a roller coaster ride, buddy, I'll tell you that. But, um... If you're not interested in using this purely for amusement, and you actually want it to help you get up into a high place, like say one of those trees, you build a similar structure like this. I'm not going to do a tutorial on it because it's, come on guys, it's two sticks and a long uh, diving board pretty much. If you need a tutorial on that, I'm, I'm, shoot, if you give me enough thumbs up, I might make a tutorial anyway, but... Let's just move on. All right, you stick the uh, jack like right here under the front edge, right about bamo, bamo right there, perfect. And then you go to the end of your contraption. You you could I made it as long as I could make it before it hit the ground. There's sort of like a stress or a tension over long objects that cause them to bend in the um, physics of this world so there is a limit to how long but you could overcome that limit simply by putting posts or something underneath your your diving board pretty much and holding it up but um let's get right to it you want to get someplace really high really fast build one of these then just start hitting your up arrow to move your jack up and away we go. Yep, that's me flying up. And again, that's just another step. And how about one more? Can we go even higher? Yep, this is getting me where I want to be. The idea is simple. You build this thing next to a tree so that it'll lift you up against the tree, pretty much, just like this. And you just keep pressing on your lift, your up arrow, until you're up against the tree, like this. Then you just eject from your seat, and it'll throw you nicely on top, where I'm standing. Isn't that convenient? And at this point, you'd be right up against the tree, and you could draw your little platform or whatever, and get up in there and get the stuff you're looking for, whether you were driving like a maniac and your car flew up there. Trust me, I've had to get cars out of trees, too. Uh, or... It was an intentionally made flying vehicle, and it got stuck in a tree. So, this is, I guess, a part two to the last video, where that, it, it is a solution, but I think this is actually a, an even faster solution than the, uh, the, the tower build. So, uh, here's to fun, here's to scrap mechanic, and here's to all you scrappers out there looking for the fastest and easiest way to get things done. Have fun and check back into the lab. See what other weird and wacky inventions we got going. Adios.